when fear is forcing you to give up, call up on your heart's courage to continue. Hi everyone, Carly Bell here. Thank you so much for being part of my family here on YouTube. Thank you so much for your time and your support. Today I'm going to share with you uh, a message and it's about how to not give up uh, during your hair journey or your hair transition. And this is not a message only for curly hair or wavy or afro hair, afro crown. All hair types are beautiful but uh, the thing is like people that has curly hair wants straight hair and the ones that have straight hair wants curly hair. Let's just be grateful for what we have. God in nature never makes mistakes. Your hair is your DNA, it is part of your ancestors, honor your ancestors. You know, your hair is so important, like if you want to know what minerals are you missing in your body or what is going on in your body, just get a hair test and you will see better results if you have a blood test. So you see how important is your hair. Your hair is not just hair hanging from your head. Your hair is your crown. My hair, my crown. My hair, my belt to cover my body. That's what my grandma always told me. Like, your hair is your belt to cover your body. Your hair is your crown love and embrace your hair. So it's not only embracing your natural hair texture, it's self-care, self-love, connecting with your ancestor is ascending, it's not being part of the marketing, being a slave. Your hair is not just a trend. It, no, your hair is part of you, it's your DNA, it's your ancestors. Honor your ancestors, honor yourself, love yourself, embrace yourself, love who you are, and take care of what you have. So you're gonna have the most beautiful natural hair. Like, it's okay to have people that is your inspiration, but I always focus on you and you will see better results because your hair is so unique like you. You know, even if I have three B curly hair type, but even if you have the same hair texture, it's not gonna be the same because you are so unique like a beautiful rare diamond. So uh, let's say today you wake up and you are tired of straining your hair, sometimes even burning your, burning your skin, that's what I was doing, sometimes my hair was wet and I was like, I don't care, I have a lot of hair, let me just straight my hair because I want my hair super, super straight, babe, babe. Even if you are straining your hair, the heat damage your hair strands. My hair was so thin, so, so weak, and so damaged. I was straining my hair. I didn't like my natural hair color, so I was using hair dye all the time, every month. I was straining my hair every day and using a lot of products and expensive products and washing my hair. Sometimes I was paying in the salon to someone to wash my hair. I was paying people to wash my hair and strain my hair. I was paying to a person to damage my hair because I was losing a lot of hair. They don't care. They was just massaging my, my skull really, really like bad, you know. Even when you are massaging your skull, you have to do it with love and veneration, with respect, with patience. No, so, and of course it's expensive. My hair was so long, so, so long and so thin. I was losing a lot, a lot of hair. Every time that I was damaging my hair or paying someone to destroy my hair. So, babes, um, if you wake up today and you said, okay, enough is enough. I don't want to be a slave for this anymore. I'm tired of damaging my hair. I want to see my natural hair texture. It's going to be a process. But uh, let me tell you, it's a beautiful process. Take pictures, honor yourself. Don't, don't hide that beautiful process. Don't hide yourself. If you are in your hair transition and you cut your hair, uh, let's say you did a big chop and you are now growing your natural hair, but uh, you have that old picture of you on your Instagram or Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever you have, that old picture of you with straight hair, babes, let that old you let go. Let it go and embrace that new you, you, the real you, your natural beauty. Put your, your 
new picture with your natural hair. Uh, you can you can be an inspiration for others. So if someone see you there, you are embracing your hair. You will be an inspiration for others, and that's that's like spreading the love and the good energy on earth. Uh, being an inspiration for others, you can even change lives that you didn't even know. So don't hide yourself. That beauty, that natural beauty, that beautiful soul that you are. Um, so that's the first step, you know, embracing yourself. Uh, if you talk the decision, okay, I'm going to take care of my hair, I'm going to grow my natural hair, I'm going to embrace my natural hair texture, don't give up. Sometimes you're going to see that your hair is like in a mess. But no, it's like it's growing and it's healing. It's healing from inside out. And it's not just healing your head. It's healing your scalp and healing your heart, healing your soul. Um, uh, Self-care. Yes, because you are like now looking at yourself and loving yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and talk to yourself with sweet, kind words, talk to your head, embrace your head, and be grateful for what you have, your natural crown. You was um, used, and you're going to have free time because the time that you was using to damage your head, now you're going to use it maybe to read, uh, to learn other things, new skills, uh, exercising, connecting with your friends, not wasting your time, hours just straining your hair. Um, another thing about the friends and the people that are close to you, sometimes there are the people who don't support you, but I, do it for yourself. Your hair is not a trend, so who cares what people say, you know? Don't pay attention of people, to people's opinions. The only opinion that you that you should get is your opinion. That's the only opinion that matters, you know? So if people say, oh my God, you look better with a straight hair, whatever. Oh my God, why you cut your hair, you look better with long hair. They don't know all the process, all the stress, all the negativity that you was trying to yourself while you was straining your hair. So don't pay attention to people's opinion. If they don't have anything positive to say, don't care, you know, because you are doing it for you, not for them, not for him, not for her. It's for you, okay? Because at the end, if you lose your head, if you, oh my God, using a lot of heat, using a lot of chemicals that destroy your health, that destroy your scalp, you don't want to get bold, you know, you don't want to get alopecia. So, you know, uh, so what people say, what people think, don't, don't pay attention. Focus on you. Focus on your goal. Embr embracing your natural hair tester. That's it. That's it. It's like honoring yourself. Honoring your ancestors. Your hair is so unique like you. A rare diamond. So focus on you. You can have people that are your inspiration. But uh, don't, don't wish, oh, I want her hair. Oh, I want the same hair that she has. No, because you are so unique. So focus on you, take care of your hair using natural hair products, follow a simple natural hair routine, take care of your, your hair, of your eating, your sleep, no stress, don't care about people's opinions. Because look, when you are straining your hair, when you, when you are uh, looking at other people with a different hair texture that you have and you wish you, you have the hair texture, you are throwing negativity to your crown, to yourself, and stress creates inflammation. So your hair is more damaged because your hair is a connection with your nervous system, with your spirit. So whatever is going on in your heart, in your in your mind, your head is gonna feel it. Seriously, it's this is one connection. Your head is like a like a beautiful flower, you know. So if you just throw negativity to this beautiful flower, to this beautiful plant, you know, just look, she's gonna be like sad, 
and seca, dry, but if you just put water and you talk nice to this flower or to this plant, look how beautiful this plant will bloom. It's same with your head, it's same with yourself. Talk to yourself with love and respect. Veneration is my favorite word this year, 2024. Veneration. Self-respect, self-love, self-care. This year is all about you and what make you happy, what make your soul happy. No, we're not here to make others happy. You have to make yourself happy first so then you can share the happiness with others. If not, you just being fake with yourself and even with others because you're giving that poquito, poquito that you have to others and at the end you're gonna feel so merciful, so sad, so broken. So yes, embracing your natural hair texture is not just letting your hair grow, no, it's self, self care, self love, self respect. And in my case, I had long, long straight hair damn shit, really, really bad. Like I had um, splittings even like on the top of my head. But in pictures, oh my gosh, oh, she has long black hair or long blonde hair. Yes, I was playing around with my hair a lot until I was losing a lot of hair and I had a patch here. Like I was losing a lot of hair and that was because my fault. The pressure, oh, if you don't have a straight, hair you don't look professional you don't look good you know what who cares you are beautiful the way you are but if you take care of your hair you're gonna look beautiful and presentable and professional you see like i have a little clip right here it's like ready ready to go ready to go and people said oh my god having curly hair is not easy i don't know how to take care of the hair less is more with all hair dyes but a curly hair is so easy it's so so easy you see look ready to go earrings lipstick dress but someone is getting married or something is going on in holiday so i'm gonna straighten my hair you know what when you're straining your natural hair after you wash your hair, it's not going to be the same because little by little, the heat will damage your natural hair texture. It's not going to be the same. Just imagine just putting that heat on on your hair. You know, uh, if I want to wear uh, straight hair, let's say today, I want to have straight hair, I would, I would wear a wig. Yes. But on my hair, no, I would not touch my hair. My hair, I love my natural hair texture. And yeah, aceptación, aceptar who you are, aceptar who you are and become the best version of yourself. You, focusing on you, on your goals, on your life, on your um, potential, not in other people's lives or what they have. Self-care. When you are taking care of your natural hair tester, you are aware of what you're putting on your hair. So you are start reading ingredients and you, yeah, you are more aware. So it's like you are taking care of your health. Another thing, uh, health overlay. I know it's not easy sometimes to cut that damage hair, that damage hair, but you will see that you're gonna look better, you're gonna look more like alive, more fresh, if you just cut the damaged long hair. Just let it go, no attachments, babes. It's very important to learn how to live without attachments because you, when you have attachments, you suffer for real. Live the now, embrace what you have and what you are and cut those attachments even with the hair. I was so attached to the damaged long hair. Then I was so attached to my long, healthy, long curly hair. And I cut it, I cut it because of um, spiritual reasons. So I lost my grandma and I'm a native and that's what I, we do when we lost someone, a loved one, we cut our hair. So she was my soulmate and I cut it. My hair was super, super long, like when I said long, like down my hips and I cut it, no attachments. You see, and I have been cutting my hair already a year and a half, and I love the short hair. So me, 
So me, this is my buy para is healthy. Look, healthy, healthy. My scalp. I don't wash my hair all the time. Less is more with curly hair. I take care of my hair with my produce. I make my own produce, my oils. You know, this one is my uh, serum for length retention. Oh, it smells so good. God, Jesus, it smells really good. I have my own shampoo, my conditioners, my deep conditioner. I style my hair with my hair mask because it's so light. A little bit of uh, flax seal gel and my oil. That's it. That's it. I wear my satin cap. That's it. And you know what? I had one month and five days without washing my hair. Yes, babes. And my scalp was fine. Look the health of my scalp. Let me show you. Look. I have two days. Look. Less is more. Of course, take care of what you eating because you are what you eat, you know? Uh, if you are eating avocados, blueberries, Mangoes, sweet potatoes, lentils, lentils, quinoa, black rice, you know, uh, for those that likes, I don't know, uh, animal protein, salmon, uh, huevitos, eggs, eat healthy, almond milk, almond butter, uh, walnuts, real food, kale, green smoothies, hello. That gonna be a reflection on your hair, your skin, your temple, because your body is your temple for your soul, for God. So you see, you see how I, how I talk? It's because that's how I feel. But a years ago, I was not feeling like this. I hated my hair. I was always, when I was straining my hair, I was like, oh my God, I hate this hair. I hate it. Oh, why I have this hair? Why I have this hair? Why I had my mother's, my mother hair? Because I'm a, I'm a mix of white, really white, and my father has curly hair and like this skin color, you know, like vanilla. So I have this beautiful curly hair. And I was like, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. My skin. I hate it. My eyes because they're big. I hate it because people, babe, when I was growing up, oh my God, cow eyes. Oh my God, the hair, you look like a lion. Oh my God, your skin. Did you fight with, with the sun or you did it, did, 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 babes? Forget about what people say. Let me tell you that doesn't matter. Don't destroy who you are. Don't abandon us who you are. Love who you are. Love what you have. And it's so simple to take care of yourself, to take care of your hair. Live without attachments. Cut that damaged hair. By the way, if you want to cut the hair with me, following them on faces, DM me on Instagram or uh, send me an email. And I'm here to help you, babes. If you want to learn how to take care of your hair using natural ingredients, natural products, following a simple, natural, easy hair routine, DM me on Instagram or send me an email. You're not alone in this process. Let me tell you, you're going to feel better. You're going to be happier. And you're going to reflect that energy. Respect yourself. When you are loving and accepting who you are, that's the energy that you are projecting. Your aura is beautiful. And you're going to see how people will treat you. But don't do it for people. Do it for yourself. But you're going to see the change. Of course, sometimes it's a frog around, you know, jumping around, throwing some shitty energy. Don't pay attention. Focus on you. You are beautiful the way that you are because God in nature never makes mistakes. Never. You're not a mistake. You are light on earth. You are a beautiful gift and your family. You are a chosen one. You are here to live your life. We are here for the vibes and food. Focus on the now. Love who you are. Embrace what you have and just live life. 
Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join the family. And please contact me on Instagram if you want to start taking care of your hair. If you want to start your hair journey, you're not alone. Love you. See you next one. Besitos. Chao, chao.